with this guy moving around and what he was armed with, uh, it's just a huge challenge to those officers. Reporting in Alexandria, Tim Barber, ABC 7 News. Vice President Mike Pence in Oklahoma touring flood damage near Tulsa. Downstream, the Arkansas River is slowly cresting. And while more rain is in the forecast, officials don't expect water levels to rise higher than where they are already, where they peaked. And a big thank you to our viewers who have donated more than $49,000 to help flooding and storm victims. We truly appreciate it. Our parent company, Sinclair Broadcast Group, is matching the first $25,000. If you'd still like to help, uh, click Donate Now on the top of WJLA.com. You can donate through the end of the day tomorrow. We have so many generous viewers. It Absolutely. really is nice to see, and that was done in short order. But those folks need so much. It breaks your heart. Yeah, so many communities affected. Rough season, it severe is. weather season. And for us around here, I mean, this is not what you exactly call tornado alley, but we've had confirmed tornadoes in a lot right. of them, right. uh, considering we've seen in past years. Nothing like that this evening. It's Perfect beautiful weather. and overlooking the National Cathedral from our tower camera in Tenley Town, looking south down Wisconsin Avenue. Always a beautiful shot from the Mandarin, looking over toward Roslyn and over toward the Whitehurst and Georgetown. Maybe a nice night to grab a bite to eat, take a little walk around your neighborhood, soak in the fresh air and lower humidity levels and dew point levels and enjoy yourselves. 75 in Gaithersburg, 77 in Quantico, Southern Maryland now in the lower 70s. If you're looking for a lot of cloud cover, you're not going to find it, at least not around the metro area. Head off toward the south and west of us. Petersburg looking at added cloud cover along with Cumberland in western Maryland. Out to dinner tonight, temperatures will be in the 70s as we head through the evening hours. Nighttime lows drop down to the upper 50s and lower 60s under partly cloudy skies. It will be a cool start tomorrow morning, but not nearly as chilly as it was early this morning when we had temperatures that we're in the 40s and 50s, waking up tomorrow, downtown D.C., DuPont, Logan Circle, just around 65 to 66 degrees. Now, tomorrow, when you head out the door, grab your umbrella, stay weather alert, because we're looking at the potential for stronger storms, especially during the afternoon hours and into the evening. Our future cast is just updated for us. It is dry noon time hour at 1 o'clock, at least according to this model here. Let's fast forward to 3 p.m. Showers and thunderstorms begin to blossom along along the I-81 corridor. Those showers and storms become more numerous moving into the 5 o'clock hour. Could be a slow go for the evening rush hour commute and then we'll keep spotty showers and thunderstorms in the forecast through the evening. Now some of these storms will contain gusty winds, heavy downpours, even small hail as they move through the evening hours. For tomorrow, it's going to feel a lot different out there. Temperatures in the upper 80s. Feels like temperatures upper 80s to around 90 degrees. There are the showers and thunderstorms as we head through the late afternoon and early evening. Celebrate Fairfax Friday looking good. A stray shower or two not going to amount to a whole lot. Fantastic day on Saturday around 83 degrees. Sunday looks great. A few passing showers, maybe a rumble or two of thunder, but I think that's going to hold off until later in the day. Here's your seven day outlook. Once we do get through the upcoming weekend, early next week does stay on the unsettled side. Temperatures around 80 to 85 degrees with a chance for a few pop up showers and thunderstorms. But tomorrow it's going to feel just like summer around here with temperatures in the 80s and a chance for thunderstorms in the afternoon and evening hours. All right. Thank you, Steve. Talking football yes. again. Yes, it is that time. It's happening. It is happening. Okay. It's day one of Redskins minicamp. It was good to see all the veterans there except for one. Why wasn't Trent Williams there? One possible reason. That's next in sports. Need help paying for college? So does everyone. Strayer has graduation fund. Finish your bachelor's degree and save up to 25% with tuition-free classes in your last year. This spring, it's out with the old and in with the awesome. As in, in with the fastest, most reliable internet from Xfinity XFi. So you can be in with brilliantly connected devices in every room. And in with finding all your favorites on live TV and streaming apps with just your voice. This spring, it's out with the old and in with simple, easy, awesome. Don't miss the Xfinity Spring Sale. Get started with this limited time offer and get your choice of DVR or speed upgrade free for a year. Click, call, or visit a store today. The big carriers are talking about their current 5G rollouts, but their efforts are limited to a few pockets in select cities or trying to convince consumers that 4G is actually 5G. They're neglecting small towns and rural communities, leaving...